Hello friends, this video on NEAT Human Health and Diseases is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us quickly look at some of the important cattle diseases and their causal organism and symptoms. So we'll start with cowpox which is caused by uh, virus and the symptoms include fever and small nodules on the body of that organism. Rabies which is again caused by virus and the symptoms include restlessness and sometimes paralysis that is the, uh, the animal is not able to move freely so it gets paralyzed. Uh, dermatitis so der dermis so what is derma derma comes from skin so anything that happens on skin so blisters on skin irritation itching on skin so that's dermatitis and dermatitis is caused by virus again anthrax is caused by bacteria and anthrax is very commonly seen in cattle uh, the animal normally have fever, swollen body, less, less milk secretion. So you generally see it in cows, cows or even buffaloes. And uh, if that cow or buffalo is suffering from anthrax, then they do not give a lot of milk. Uh, black leg, causal organism, bacteria and symptoms is fat fatal toxemia. So it can be fatal. It can even, uh, you know, uh, result in death of that animal. TB which is tuberculosis, causal organism is bacteria, here the animal has fever as well as infection. Ringworm is caused by fungus and in ringworm the symptom includes circular patches on the body of the organism. So these, these are like small patches throughout the body of the organism, so small small circular patches. Skin diseases, various skin diseases are uh, take place in cattle and they, are, they occur due to parasites. Now most of the skin diseases are caused by external parasites. Now external parasites like uh, ticks or lice so which, which remain on the surface or on the skin of that animal. So they result in skin diseases. Whereas certain parasites are internal also. That means uh, parasite or organisms which are present inside the body of the organism. So what are parasites? They are present in the body of some other organism and they take their nutrition from that organism and also harm that organism. So they are parasites. Now these parasites can be external if they live outside the body of that organism that is on the body like lice or tick if the parasites are present inside the body of the organism like inside the liver or inside the stomach so that is internal parasites now a lot of internal parasites cause infection of various organs in animals like liver so parasites living in the liver might make the liver infected so it can cause liver damage similarly uh, parasites living in the stomach or intestine can damage the respective organs so organ infection can happen due to the internal parasites living in those organs so these are some of the important cattle diseases so you should remember the causal organism for each of the diseases and also a, a fair idea about the symptoms for each of the diseases so drug thank you Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.